time to torture test the iPod Touch. Winter is coming, so I know there's a chance you could leave your gadgets in your cold, cold car. That's what this two hours in the freezer is about to simulate. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, see you later, little buddy. All right, let's get this bad boy out of the freezer, see how it's doing. Note we have our product red iPod Touch. A portion of this does go to charity to help uh, with AIDS research. Okay, so everything seems to be working. It really wants to get on the Wi-Fi. Except the home button is a little sluggish, but it is working. So I would say if you do leave your iPod in the car in the frozen tundra, it's gonna be all right. Need to change this song. Uh, oh no! Uh, oh no! My iPod! Oh, oh! My iPod did not like that. Let's take these out so I can hear myself talking. Yeah, we have damage. We got some little plastic poking out the side. We have a. See, that was really realistic, by the way. I have done that a bunch of times. But the screen's not cracked. Let's see if it comes on. Screen comes on, still functional. I'm surprised actually that the home button is still functional because it's coming apart so badly at the bottom here. But it goes. We busted it up. Maybe we should just do a normal drop now. Well, that was dramatic, but I still think we should try it again. Oh, my iPod. Oh, it's so tricky. Uh, it fell. Okay, well, that was a little less force. We still have this little screw really wanting to come out. No damage to the camera that I can tell. Let's push that back in. Oh, yeah, our screen is all messed up, full of lines there. So now we have pretty much busted our touch screen. It's no longer responding to any touch at all. I confess that I hurled it to the ground, but that is not okay for $300. For two drops to completely destroy this thing, well, it is starting to rain. I was gonna dump this in a puddle for the water test, but I don't think there's any point in that. I think it's sustained so much damage in our drop test that it's pretty much a goner. We managed to well and truly kill our red iPod Touch, but I don't want to deprive you of the full gauntlet of torture tests. So we bought another one, and we're about to put it in the oven. Once again, this is simulating what might happen if you left your iPod in a hot car for a while. Now we do a little hotter, then your car is going to get 200 degrees, but only for an hour. Only. Good luck, iPod. Time to rescue the iPod. All right. Oh, I hope it's okay. I can smell it. Not in like a yummy bread way either. In a totally toxic, I can't believe I do this in my own home way. I don't see any obvious melting. Right? Not even angry temperature warning, so I'm just gonna let it cool off for a little bit. Ooh, that is hot. And uh, see if it comes back to life. So I accidentally bumped it while I was seeing if it was cool, and it gave me a temperature warning, but now it looks like it's just coming on and trying to sear me. Oh, I was hoping I would get the temperature warning again. It must have been a relic, but it looks like it is back on. It's definitely on the Wi-Fi. Seems pretty responsive. 
After about 10 minutes of cooling, which is not surprising because it's really thin, it's not like it's gonna retain a lot of heat, I would say iPod Touch has no problem with the hotness. So it seemed only obvious for the iPod torture test that the wild card should be giving the iPods to children and asking them to not be careful while they play games and have snacks. So I have Sam. And Ella. And Dash. And Eli. And you guys are all gonna play games, right? On our fancy iPods. So I want to tell you the rules. Well, which one of them? I know, you're going to have to share. And then there's, there's a rule for today, OK? So while you're drinking your juice and eating chips and fruit and pizza and playing with iPods, I want you to not be careful. Yeah. That's right. I remember that Don't rule. Don't be careful. All right, are you guys hungry? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You wanna play some, and you want to play some games? Yeah. yeah. OK. Now, don't forget to share, grab this but go. I'm going to get out of your way and let you play. Oh, good job, good job. Follow Eli. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Oh, good job. Stop her. Yeah, throw it to the couch. All right, guys, now we're gonna play a pretty crazy game. We're gonna, I know. We're gonna put the two iPods on this plastic and then we're gonna, add, we're gonna, I know, this is totally yours. It came from your house. Yep. And then we're gonna spill juice on them. Put them in the middle. And let's go get our juice. We have to turn this off. We should turn them on, actually. It's much more, oh, that's a sticky iPod. Wow. Okay, ready? Oh, we got the video playing. That's excellent. Okay, come on over and spill your juice on the phone. Good job. One more. Yeah. Oh, Dash, you wanna try it? Oh, disaster! Good job, everybody. All right, everyone, take a break. Back up. They're still okay. They're still okay? Look, they're still going. <gasps> Look, Super Y's still playing. Do you think they're pretty tough? Yeah. yeah. I, think so too. I mean, you jumped on them and threw them, and look, they're still going. All right, we're going to get them out and dry them off. You guys can take a break and have some snacks, okay? Great well, job, or everyone. Or you can just lay down. I might have to lay down. I'm exhausted after that. Good job, guys. Look at that. We have two juice-soaked, Cheeto-encrusted, grease-covered iPod touches that, at least as of this second, are totally still entertaining children. Oh, yeah. Yeah.